Today on Keeping It Realtor, we're going to talk about knob and tube wiring. I'm Agent Logan with the Jennifer Queen Real Estate Team and Remax Professionals. Uh, today we're going to talk, be talking about knob and tube wiring and what to look for. I have a minute to talk about it, so let's go. Usually you're going to be looking at homes that are earlier than 1940s, uh, in Winnipeg especially. Prior to then, the typical electrical wiring was knob and tube. Most of the time, you're only going to be able to see things in the basement if the basement is unfinished. The basement was likely not designed to be finished, so you likely will be able to see some of the wiring still intact. As for the knob and tube, what it is, is it's a, a single copper line that is covered in a cloth, and then it connects with knobs, and it goes through the wood in tubes. It's a common cause for concern for insurance purposes, so when you're actually looking for homes, it is one thing that we do stress and one thing that we are trying to pay attention to uh, in order to educate buyers and to keep you safe down the line in your new home. Do you have a question that you would like us to answer that we haven't already? Feel free to leave a comment below and we can get to it. We plan on putting out a lot of content this year. Uh, if you like what you see or hear, please like below or subscribe to our channel. Please reach out, we would love to help. A lot of eyeballs down there. <laughs>